Hey, well, the time has come to try and get all this um, online, I guess, in, in daily cycling use. Uh, still don't have the BMSs for this, but they'll come in the next few weeks. And in the meantime, I'm going to use some fairly diligent, um, what do you call it? Watching it. And also I can remotely log into that and change it and whatever else if I need to too. And I'm going to also use some very conservative highs and lows voltages. So we're not going to have any problems. Uh, I'm going to set it to like four kilowatt hours of use from both packs every night. So it's... It's not going to overcharge, not going to undercharge, because I'm not going to let that do it. I know a lot of people don't like that, but I'm going to turn this back on and show you something here. Get all that turned off for a couple of days, because the batteries are fully charged. A lot of people were wondering if this unit actually turns off once the battery's full. Well, it does. Well, it doesn't turn off completely, but as you can see there, 8 watts and 0.2 of an amp. So that's not even a trickle charge. That's that, that's probably, uh, which one is it? That one. It's probably only replacing the energy that that thing's using, that fan, because that, that sells a little bit high. So I'm just, um, ah, the autofocus isn't working. That bank and that bank were just a little bit high. So I'm just bringing it down with that fan. So what I have to do now is I've got inverter up in that shed. I've got nothing connected, all the cables are just dropped on the floor waiting for an electrician. Um, I think the plan is I'm going to move the inverters over there. So I'm going to put one inverter there, the other inverter there, or one the old inverter there, this inverter sort of here somewhere, and run this one down to the ground, and then run all those batteries, all the old batteries off that but only have soul hooked into that, then this one I'm going to use to run the house with the lithium ion batteries. So somehow or rather, I've got to work out some sort of neat cable management. I'm going to run the cables probably through the center and along the middle of the back and then down there and then out I got heaps more of this stuff, so I'm going to run some very heavy cable in between. It's triple shielded, it's welding cable, so it's going to be nice and safe. Right through conduit, probably come come in down here somewhere, not at the ground level. I don't want to at ground level. Come up there and then run into this inverter here. So, although it will be over there, and here I want to actually set up a computer screen and a computer and a keyboard and mouse below it, so I can actually stand up and look at this stuff rather than having to bend over like I used to do. So that's where the project at, maybe, I don't know, give or take a week. I think this might be all sorted. I've got to move that out because that's an individual earth, because the shed's earthed. I don't even know if you can see it down there. There you go, just there. That's an individual earth, so the shed's earthed and, um, and the inverter was earthed on its own separate earth. So. Any questions, ask them below. Like, rate, subscribe. If you like what I do, let me know. It really does help this project move along. It's going a bit slow, but, you know, I'll try and update when I can. Cheers, guys, and have a good one.